Yeah, uh, we thanks very much for you coming. We're, we've looking, been looking forward for this for this time for an awfully for many many years. My name is Ed Lambert. I am the radio talk show host in the morning on WXDK here on Cape Cod and the Islands, where most of our listeners, Cape and Islands. But the main thing that we've been doing, the committee's been doing for years, is following one guy to today, and that's Paul Rummel, who's the chairman of our Cape and Islands license plate committee. I've been around in the pause for Paul. Thank you, Ed. Thank you very much. Um, we just have a short presentation here tonight. Um, just want to let everybody know that the Cayman Islands plate was introduced back in 1996. And over the 12 years since then, we've raised $13.8 million with all of that revenue staying on the Cayman Islands to support economic development and tourism. Uh, the plate revenue, great. The plate revenue is dispersed between five different organizations. Bosco County's Economic Development Council, the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce, the Lower Cape Community Development Council, and the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. Since the early days of the Cape and Islands plate, we've discussed having a low number auction and asked registry officials not to issue plates 1 through 999, but to keep those numbers for future use. And a couple of years ago, we got a little bit more serious about the auction and asked that they uh, produce the plates and set them aside. So now here we are announcing our July 8th uh, launch of our auction. Uh, the auction will be online and similar to an eBay style auction. It will open on July 8th and run through August 1st. Uh, running the auction online is really interesting. The software is really unique in that uh, bidders will be notified by email if they're the high bidder, if they've been outbid, etc. It's going to be an interesting process. We're very pleased to, to announce that we've uh, committed $10,000 from the special auctions proceeds to go to the Cape Cod Baseball League. Uh, the Cape League plays a tremendous role in tourism and basically in everyday summer life on Cape Cod, and we're thrilled to offer our support for the plate auction. Uh, your charitable donation, for all of you successful bidders in the room, will be handled by the Cape Cod Foundation, who's agreed to be our fiscal agent for the auction. Um, I've had the pleasure of being the chairman of this committee back since 1996 when the plate was uh, introduced. It's a volunteer committee, of, a group of volunteers that work extremely hard, and uh, it's taken all of their, everybody's effort to get us to this point. And uh, I'd like to list the committee in no particular order, just to, so you'll know who they are. Uh, Noel Mettenberg, Alan White, Dan Dre, Dick Neitz, Ed Lambert, Karen Cummings, Kristen Mitchell, Wendy Northcross, and Steve Lowell are the regular committee members. Because of the auction and all the additional responsibilities and work to be done, we've drafted a few uh, other folks. Warren Rutherford, Dan Compass, uh, Dan from WebFought has done a tremendous job with all the software, um, and I think it's much more than he bargained for when he took on the project, so we really appreciate his help. Jesse hoffman Clowkey, Joe Forgione, Diane McPherson, Marcy Tidesley, and Elizabeth Garwan. Back in the early days of the plate, we never really expected to have this kind of success. Remember, our target was the right whale plate at that time. There weren't too many other plates around. And uh, since then, we actually kind of blew past that. And at one point, we were selling more special kid and ounce plates than all the other specialty plates combined. Um, the Red Sox have put a little bit of dent in that. Uh, <laughs> they keep winning World Series, the Patriots too. Um, but we are extremely proud of what we've done, the money that we've raised, the fact that it stays on the Cape. We're, the group is extremely pleased with that, and we're very excited about the about the upcoming auction. And uh, hopefully everybody in the room will bid on something, whether it's an anniversary or a birthday or whatever. Um, with that, I think that's it for me. I'd like to introduce Wendy Northcross, the President and CEO of the Cape Cod Chamber. Rum's last day as official uh, director of the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce. He's going through withdrawal pains, but you're still going to be involved with the Cape and Islands license plate. Um, I, w I just wanted to emphasize the, the benefits of the plate, the proceeds of the plate. It's been over $13 million since the inception in 1996. All of that money directly benefits economic development and tourism promotion on Cape Cod and the islands of Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Um, we know that that's important because tourism is, on an annual basis, responsible for over $2 billion in direct spending on the Cape and Islands. It's a significant industry here. So to have the support of this license plate fund 
helps not only the Cape Cod Chamber, but the Lower Cape Cod CDC and the um, Cape Cod Economic Development Council of Barnstable County. Here's just some examples of what the, the fund has helped in the last few years. Housing Assistance Corp received a grant from the Cape Cod Economic Development Council leading to the creation of or access to housing for our workforce. The uh, same organization helped the Open Cape Broadband Group to boost um, shore-to-shore -shore broadband, high-speed broadband on Cape Cod. They've also helped the Regional Technology Development Corporation expand their work linking academic research to commercial applications. For us at the Cape Cod Chamber, we, we utilize those funds for the infrastructure that helps to market Cape Cod to service our visitors when they arrive here. We've done special projects like the Arts and Artisans Trail Guide that supports over 300 artisans on the Cape with marketing and technical assistance. And we also um, have supported our sister corporation, Coastal Community Capital, which gives assistance to businesses with direct loans and um, professional counseling. That sounds like they need a shrink. They know, this is, this is like shrink for businesses. I need to slow down. Business advice, thank you. And uh, finally, the Lower Cape Community Development Corporation, they use their shares for, they've got some great stores. They have a clothing designer, Mary DeAngelis, who received a micro loan to establish a design studio with more space than she had in her house. She now sells her unique clothing nationally to over 40 stores out of her Pete Town studio. The Lower Cape Cod CPC also used funds to help Donna Mahan, an artist and sculptor working in glass and found objects. She's expanded her artwork to include desk lamps, bookends, custom tables, and she's actually um, increasing her customer base and her income through the CDC's New Markets for Artists workshop. And then finally, they do a lot of housing programs with the, the um, funds that the license plate generates. So we know it's a significant um, boost to our local economies, and it's been a significant um, project, and we're very, very pleased to announce this very significant auction. So with that said, I would now like to introduce our relatively new Registrar of Motor Vehicles. She was appointed by Governor Patrick in May of this year. Um, Rachel Capralian is going to unveil some very special plates. So thank you, Wendy. Well, it is good to be here on the Cape because let me tell you, I am so impressed with the Cape plate. And I'll tell you why, because you are ahead of the Boston Red Sox, and that is hard to do. And it is, it is for one reason, because people love the Cape. People who are from the Cape, people who have been to the Cape, even people who haven't been to the Cape love the Cape. Um, it is a very, very unique and special part of our Commonwealth. It is naturally beautiful, it is culturally significant, and there are always new and interesting artistic endeavors happening here. John F. Kennedy, when he was president, designated the National Seashore, which forever preserved this beautiful part of the world. And the Cape and Islands Plate, in that spirit, continues that mission. Because what it does is it gives to nonprofits the ability to keep the Cape a desirable, strong, and growing economy and tourist destination. And I don't have to tell all of you, the tourist destination is really, really important, as is preserving the nature and what makes this place special. So I actually feel very lucky that when I was a very little kid, um, I grew up in Centerville uh, in the summers, yes. Um, took my first steps there, um, and lots of other uh, you know family memories. And I'm Armenian, and Armenians, as all of you probably know, spend a lot of time on Old Silver Beach, or as we call it, the Armenian Riviera. So I have a lot of affection for all parts of the Cape, um, and I'm so glad to be registrar now and be able to talk about it with the zeal Cape and Islands Plate deserves. So congratulations to all of you for all of your wonderful work. And it has been said, and I'll say it again, $14 million, people. That's a lot of money. $14 million. 44,000 cars on the road with this plate. That is a small town. That's a, that's a medium-sized city. That's possible. So that's a really significant thing, and it's growing, and, and people continually want this. Now, I'll tell you, we think we generally people want the cake plates. Who might want cake plate number one? Um, I'm guessing when the bidding starts at $10,000 that you're going to see a pretty penny 
for this. Now everyone talk to your very rich friends and tell them that this is about to be auctioned off with all of the, well, not all the proceeds, but a good chunk of the proceeds going to Cape and the Islands and for its betterment. And the other plate we have, and all 998 in between, is 999. These plates from, from number 100 to 999 are going to go for a $100 minimum bid. So this auction starts July 8th. Everyone take up your calendars, mark it on your calendars, tell everyone you know, because it will better your lives. Because it will raise a ton of money. I don't have to tell you, this is a, a source of inspiration. The United We Stand number one plate, $100,000. I am throwing down the gauntlet and challenging the Cape of the Islands to beat that. And I think you'll do it. So, I do. So it's an honor to be here. The Registry of Motor Vehicles and the Governor Patrick, Lieutenant Governor Murray administration strongly supports these programs, strongly supports what's so special about Cape Cod and the Islands. And uh, we wish you the very best of luck in raising a ton of money. We are here to help every step of the way. And as an aside, today is my birthday, and there's an anywhere better I'd rather be than the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce. Thanks. Uh, the crowd's starting to arrive. We were a few minutes behind, so everybody's starting to fill in here a little bit. Uh, but we do have time for a couple questions. If anybody has a question, be happy to answer it. Patty. I have a question. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, if you have a VIP plate, can you get a Cape and Islands? Um the question is if you have a vanity plate, can you get a Cape and Islands? No. It's um, it's sort of one or the other. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of these plates on the road, and the vanity plates are, you know, harder to come by. It's not just the vanity plates, but commercial plates also. But we'll be working on that someday. We've, we've, tried, we've crossed a lot of other hurdles, and we'll get that one someday. Other questions? <laughs> no. Yeah. High limit on you can afford it, Patty. Go ahead. The ones that do not get bid on are going back in the ball. We're going to pull them out again maybe in a year or two. If they, if they, but we think everything's going to get bid on. All right, folks, and we'll be here to answer questions afterwards. Thank you very much for your interest in uh, pick a number. Thank you very much.